comes into a cell builder, we're still gonna feed the pig. Because if our nurse bees get nutritionally stressed, they won't rear queens for us. And what we want them to do is to take our grafted worker larvae and start converting them onto a queen development pathway. So we gotta give them the ability to do that. So I'm gonna gently open up these things. They tend to be really docile to work with. I will lightly smoke mine. Tucker won't when their cells are open. So we'll open this up. And what I have in here was I grafted on Friday so that everyone yesterday could see 24 hour old cells, which today are now 48 hour cells. I took a couple of Christina's and I put them in and they're down here. Notice one of them has no change. That one was cannibalized. They did not accept it. And one of them was. Before I talk too much, I want to put Ian's in here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that his cells, see how that sun just really came yes, out? Mm -hmm. yes. These become ovens. Nope, stand right there. I'm using yep, your shade. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I'm totally using yep, you right yep. there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put these right up in here. Have a marker on them? When you say cannibalize, they will eat it. They will eat it, yep. Don't waste not want not. Okay, so I'm gonna shove these right up in here. I'm actually gonna have to do one to down hold here. that while you, while you do that, bud? No, that's okay. I'm just gonna have to get a marker later. I wanna make sure. Marker? Marker? marker. Okay, so I'll talk again. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pop one of these off and I want you to pass this around and look at it. This is 48 hours after the work you've been doing today. See how much brood food's in there? See how they've drawn <laughs> down this really nice looking mm. wax cup? That's what a healthy looking cell getting reared looks oh, like. Yeah. See, I mean, she's not even leaving that thing alone. She's going up in there. If they're up in there for more than 11 seconds, you can see their abdomen pumping. Yeah. They're pushing brood food into the bottom of that cell. If you turn that upside down and look into it, you're gonna see a larvae surrounded by more brood food than it should ever it. be in a worker cell. As I am, I can oh, see wow. it. Yeah. That's a lot in there. Now, some of that is, thank you so much. She's larger simply because Sorry. of time, and some of it's uh, now she's overfed. So do you guys not use starters? You just use starter cell builder combinations? Or? She uses starter finishers. Ooh, yeah. um, I just use starters, as I was explaining, um, over there. And some of that's because time is my limited resource, so I kind of just go with that. Um, and so this is what you would normally look at. It's totally acceptable to check these out at 48, but just try to keep them out of sun. So I'm just gonna hold them over here as you're finishing looking up at them. If you have any questions, by all means. Where do you get this type of equipment? Do you just make these? Make them, yeah. So They're these sort of are custom jerry frames that they jerry-rigged and made. I've taken normal frames when I forgot my grafting frames going to a yard, yeah. popped a whole honeycomb out, taken duct tape and brad nails. <laughs> right. seen it. it works. It's right. just nice if you actually make the equipment so you're not Jerry rigging things right. all the time. Right. Um, so they'll continue to, to overfeed these queens until they're capped. So this is two days right here. I want to show you what it looks like four days and beyond, and we're going to go into another cell builder so for they're that. Not, they're not drowning. Nope. Because they're raising up in the pool. Yep. They're, they're floating. Yeah, the viscosity of the uh -huh. of royal jelly is actually different than the viscosity of brood food. It's a little acidic and thick. Gotcha and they can sit it right on top of it. And you're not concerned with the rest of these, right? Nope, nope. Okay. Those were it's simply... practice. Right, exactly. Can I ask you a question about, about the cell builder slash cell finisher? I'm attached, man. Oh, baby. Ian's here. Ian's here. Oh, and then this is Well, these years made it this far. My okay. guy swiped out. Really? Oh. He did that to me first time. Jeez. He said he, he made the analogy of the IKEA furniture breakdown. <laughs> As I'm literally doing it in front of you, yeah, which yeah. is like more sadistic. <laughs> so we'll come right this over here. This is how here. you get your employees to quit. So, so just get an idea of where you are on that whole 10 day thing. We have day nine cells over here, which for all purposes are day 10. Okay. For, for what we're talking and, about. And they, they, oh, when, when do they have? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have day 10 cells. Oh, nice. And when do they actually hatch? Day 10 cells? They They'll emerge in uh, about two days. So 12, oh, so 13 before, days. Yeah, so before I... Uh, I'll take them right out. So the reason day 10 is so important, Ian, is it's really safe to handle these cells on day 10. Gotcha. It's hard to hurt them. So if I take this out... Day 10, they can go to the mating oak, right? Yep. So we could take these, walk them right out right now. These pink ones. So I grafted oh, wow. these pink ones. Yes on Friday oh, of last week. Me. So let's go ahead and pop one open. You can see what they look like. Oh, don't pop it open. Don't? Okay. You oh, sure? God. What you're going to see is a nice big pupae in there. 
We did this yesterday. I've seen yeah, it. I got I, it. I've, I got I've, it. I've, I've okay. killed and scraped several out of my own hives. Yeah. She can't emerge today. Uh huh. So what we can do is we can take all of these out, the red ones, safely pop them off here, and then walk right over to the queenless ones that you just harvested from, and that'll eventually become the new queen. Right. Gotcha. So that's where we are in the cycle of all Which this. is what she'll do tomorrow or whenever we're all gone. Wow. And then yeah. you'll wait for her to go mate, start laying, and you'll sell it. Yep. Right? Yep, exactly. Or turn them into a whole new. You can build it right up from there, whatever you want. Now, these ones that still have the jelly, those were grafted just a few, uh, less a few days ago, so they're still consuming the rest of the jelly. They're less oh, mature than these. Oh, well, you can see it translucently right through oh it. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. First yep. is clear. Yep. So these are just older. So yeah, these yeah. still have to finish consuming that right down. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Yep. And they won't give them more than they need, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. They'll overfeed them as much as they can. But they can consume it all. They can consume it all. And you really don't want these bees nutri those bees nutritionally stressed because then they're not going to feed them as much as they should. Do they go to the bathroom the moment they emerge? Or <laughs> they don't. Oh. No, and the queens don't? No. Okay. If you have queens reared under nutritionally stressed conditions, my experience is they have very, very poor mating. They get rejected from the nuke or they don't make a successful mating flight. So I don't mess around with the nutrition at all. Do the queens leave to use the bathroom just like the regular? Bees? I think actually it's the un I don't know. I actually think it's the unmentioned thing that a lot of us don't talk about. We're all like, oh, she's Maybe got a retinue bees, and they attend to her. I think, nurse bees take it I out think for so, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. she that's likes to stay inside. A that's a cool job. That's a cool question then. Mm, I don't want to stand with big shovel behind answer. the elephant. I wouldn't want to stand <laughs> behind the queen. Stand behind the elephant. With the Where shovel. are the uh, <laughs> if it was up to being a pollen forager or or cleaning up the queen's dew, I know which one I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one was the ones that we did yesterday? They you are know? over there. The ones you did yesterday. Oh, did, we oh, stuck oh, it in oh, one sorry. of these. So we did. We did. Oh. So they we're talking one day old. Yeah. Should be about and these queens are down to make literally, I mean, these bees. Yeah. No. That was the risk of doing that. Okay. So this is what you'll get if the cell builder is not optimal. So you know how we already have cap cells in there? Mm -hmm. There's so much we're work trying to, to be done. We're trying to get bees that already have queens ready to emerge to rear. Ah. Uh, they're not They're in preoccupied. Need. Well, no, they're not in need. They feel confident that they're going to have a queen. Yeah, I think that's it. And then... Why let's... keep building if we've done our job? Yeah, so I think that's what ended up happening. Okay. So that's why so I snuck happened? a couple over into there. And do you there. think they ate it all? Okay. Yeah, what they'll do is they'll just polish them right out for right. you. You could graft right into these yeah. and not yeah. even. Why? Why? Yeah, so that's not reflective of the grafts. That's reflective of the cell. They, they were happy whoa, with their whoa, work. Whoa, whoa. What? Wait, what? why did they cannibalize them? Gotcha. So yesterday we took some of the grafts that people had done. We put them into here. But we already have cap cells in here. Oh. So these bees already have possibly like their, their queen needs fulfilled and we're asking them to rear new ones. They and didn't. they're like, we're done. They've got even time delayed ones. Yeah. So there are some corners you can cut and I've totally done that before and had a result and sometimes not. So we got the knot. Which is, hence the multiple. But did Tucka also put them over here? She put some in one of those. Okay, so this one didn't. Good learning experience. Cap cells, don't do that. Let's see. Oh, she put some in the queen bank. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. I don't know. He's still... No, no, I don't want to lay waste. Okay, so they didn't like the queen bank either. Was it worth me doing? <laughs> okay. I'll be looking for a day. So what's the queen bank? Uh, Tucka had set up a queen bank to take care of some of her. Queen bank is where you're banking queens. What's yeah, queen and then bank? this was just larva that we had the previous day. Uh, you literally have a queenless pollen. You shove your queens and cages in there to bank them. Um, if I have too many queens and they didn't sell yet, yeah. what I can do is cap all of the candy ends and then put them into a queenless colony with tons of bees and they'll attend oh, them. Oh, and they'll just be attended to yep. in the cells. Yep. I mean, yep. in the case. Yep. Oh, okay, I got you. Can you put them over the top of a, can you like put an excluder in? Put yeah, people, and do it on top of a queen right colony. How, yep. How can, so how can I ask you one question before you get further into this? Okay, now, this, is this a... a a cell builder finisher, or, or is this just a different version of that? This is just a different version. This is a finisher, so it's just holding cap cells. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the couple things that are evident right in front of us. If you cut a corner, you get a bad result. So when you're starting to set this up, don't cut a corner. When I make my cell builders in here, mm -hmm. I would say...
all the contents of this for adult bees, most likely that, and maybe half that goes into there. It's about nine pounds of bees. All into one? One box. So that this thing is dense, overflowing, and you feel bad about closing the lid. And Done then, that before? Yep, and then feed it, and then that will be your cell builder. If you skimp okay. on it too much, either dramatically cut down the number of cells you're going to put in, and then you can still get a really good result. Like, that's not a huge cell builder, but the cells end up looking pretty good. I'm only grafting 12. But don't graft 60 into something that doesn't have that many bees. <laughs> right. Yep. Well, cool. So, so, yeah, so day one comes on over here at the start, and then you can see them up to 24 hours. You see that they're capped. Day 10, they come right out of here and they go into section three. That's it. Awesome.